guys welcome once again this is kelly from bond machines and today i'll be talking about um short tool and bobbin okay so in my previous video i reviewed um how to disassemble this and actually put it back that's in the case of the regular bobbin and short tool and this one is the industrial bobbin so i'll be talking about how to actually um take out this and put it back in place all right so um i want to thank all my subscribers those that watch my videos thank you so much guys and also if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, also click on the notification button to get um videos and reviews all right so quickly i will look at this now this is the industrial bobbin and shuttle mechanism okay now it has um, a three parts okay most of the industrial um, bobbin they actually tread from front to back which meaning it has a front um treading mechanism some are at the side like in the case of PATH and some other machine, I think like Anker has that also. But in this one, this is an ideal machine. It actually has um, a front treading mechanism, meaning you tread the needle from front to back. That's why it's actually um, facing you, actually is in the front, all right? So now to remove this, what you first do is you just open up this and you take out the, the shuttle. Now this is how the shuttle looks like. Um, just have to take that out, all right, see that? All right, and this is how the bobbin actually looks like, okay? A lot different from the regular one. And also, um, if you look at the sh shuttle chamber, it actually has two parts. You see, there's, if I'm turning the wheel now, there's an outer part that turns around, just where you can see that. Okay, there's an outer part that turns around, and there's an inner part that's actually st static. Now, what holds the inner one in place is this particular, um, this, um, pr this, um, so I say this metal rod going down, that's what holds the inner one in place. And also there's this um, pave here that actually helps to put that in place. So if you look closely, when I'm turning the wheel, the outer one actually turns and the inner one is kind of static, okay? Now, what carries the tread in this case is this part here, okay? If you look at your machine, there's this sharp protrusion here. This is what actually carries the tread round uh, the thread coming in from the um, needle side, it goes round the shuttle and takes down the take out the shuttle thread and actually takes it off. So it's a continuous process. That's how the uh, machine works. So, but don't forget that, like I said, this there's a sharp point here. That's what carries the thread around the um, the um, shuttle thread. All right. So quickly, I will just show you how to put that back. Okay, this one is quite easy compared to the other one, the uh, regular. Um, sewing machine, um, normal sewing machine, um, bobbin and shuttle where you just have to remove the thread carrier, the hook and all that. But this is just, all you just need to remove is the bobbin and the um, shuttle. All right, so I'll quickly show you how to put that back in place now. Okay guys, I already placed the um, bobbin inside the shuttle. It's quite easy, just put the bobbin and get the um, thread to go all the way from here and it actually comes out through the other side. Then if you watch closely, your bobbin or uh, your shuttle has this, um, should I say this um, protrusion here, all right? And there's this small dent here, okay? So this actually enters here and it actually makes a snap sound. So when you put this in, okay, and it goes down there and makes that snap sound. And like I say, whenever you put your shuttle in the chamber, make sure you drag the thread a bit and if it comes out freely, know that you're good to go, all right? But if it's kind of difficult pulling out, probably there's something holding it or maybe something is um, wrong, you probably didn't fix, the, um, fix it well, all right? So basically that's what is the cause. So when you put that in, you just draw, drag it, and if it goes freely like I'm doing right now, it's good to go, all right? So, and also you just turn this and voila, that's it, all right? So thank you so much guys for watching and God bless you.